So I'll start with some background uh, on MBSE and on SysML. Model-based systems engineering is an approach to systems engineering where information about the system is captured in a system model. That information serves as the source of the data about the system and it's managed throughout the life cycle of the system. We typically contrast model-based systems engineering with a document-based approach. And in a document-based approach, the information about the system is captured in a variety of different document-based artifacts, text documents, informal diagrams in PowerPoint and Visio, perhaps Excel spreadsheets. You can see in this figure that the stakeholders involved in the system development process are sharing information, exchanging that information with document-based artifacts. And in so doing, it's very difficult to maintain consistency and traceability amongst the data in those different artifacts. Contrasting this with a model-based approach where the information is captured in a model and shared amongst the stakeholders. So the model-based approach provides a more complete, a more consistent, and more traceable system design. INCOSI developed the Systems Engineering Vision 2035 and published it this last year. And one of their, the key themes in the vision was that the future of systems engineering is model-based. They view the model-based uh, approach to system engineering as being part of a broader transformation, this digital transformation, where information is captured digitally and integrated uh, semantically. It gives meaning to the data. It turns the data into knowledge. So MBSE is really just a component of this overall trend towards digital transformation. Part of the future of MBSE is to broaden its scope. In the past years, much of the MBSE application has been done early in the system lifecycle. But as we go forward in time, the intent is to broaden that scope so that MBSE extends across the entire lifecycle from early design through detailed design, integration and test, and out to the field. In addition, the scope is intended to expand MBSE MBSE to be at all levels of design, from system to system level, all the way down to the component level. In order to fully benefit from MBSE, we need to complement MBSE with other practices, in particular, agile system development practices. When we talk about agile system development, the emphasis is a little different than what you might talk about when you talk about agile software development. In particular, the emphasis for agile system development is on automating the workflow and also on configuration management of the digital thread. The digital thread being all the different engineering artifacts that are created in the development of a system. And in that digital thread, the system model plays a particularly important role as sort of an integration hub. The other aspect of the future of, of MBSE is the ability to leverage modeling patterns, leverage reference models, and leverage other reuse libraries of various kinds. So we take full advantage of this system model. If we achieve these different aspects noted above, this provides uh, the basis for really making significant improvements in how we perform uh, systems engineering. We can do a better job of managing complexity and risk. We can more rapidly respond to changes in requirements in design and technology. We can enable reuse uh, between programs, between and across programs, as well as in the design evolution on a particular program. We enable the ability to reason about our systems and to analyze them more effectively using the system model. And it provides that shared stakeholder understanding that's critical to the success of any system. And finally, M MBSE can do even more to help automate the process of generating documentation, providing reports, 
and validating uh, the information. SysML is a general purpose modeling language that's used to model any kind of system that includes hardware, software, data, and facilities. Uh, SysML supports the overall process of system engineering, including the specification, analysis, design, verification, and validation of systems. It's evolved to address the user and vendor needs starting back in the 2006-2007 timeframe when it was adopted by the OMG. We're now at version 1.7. Uh, version 1.7 was adopted in, at the end of 2022. And that will be the last uh, version 1 dot release before proceeding to version 2. During this period of time, SysML has facilitated awareness and adoption of MBSE. And much has been learned from using SysML for MBSE. Uh, and that knowledge will be used and has been used to help drive the development of SysML v2. So what is a system model? Well, a system model specifies various relationships among the different aspects of a system, including its requirements, its design, the verification and analysis of a system. So it brings, it establishes relationships between these different aspects and within these different aspects to provide a cohesive description of the system. And a, a well-defined system model provides benefits to, to enable good systems engineering. In particular, it helps you to manage the complexity and risk of the system. It helps enforce rigor in the system development effort. And it provides that consistent definition and that shared understanding that can be used to integrate with other discipline models. In this slide, you can see the system model enclosed in, in the red uh, box. And you see that it can be used as a source of information that integrates with many other different sources of information, including mechanical design models, electrical design models, software design, testing. You see in the, in the uh, right here, set of analysis models. So the system model can be used to integrate with all these different models and other data sources. You see the requirements, external requirements perhaps captured in a requirements database. And the ability to use this information in the system model to generate various system documentation. But they're all coming from a single source. So this is a very important aspect of a system model in that it serves as this integration framework. 